Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book flight tickets online Cebu Pacific. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, there are actually two ways for you to book a flight or a ticket in Cebu Pacific. So you could either do this via their website, which is Cebu Pacific Air dot com or via their uh, mobile app which in this case these steps actually are pretty same or are actually pretty uh pretty same or kind of similar uh in terms of this the uh, process or steps but in this case we'll be doing this via their website which is pacificair.com now in this case how do we start the process on booking your flight well booking booking your flight in super pacific is actually pretty easy but there are going to be some details that you need to pay attention on so in this case, go to the website here, and from here, you could basically log in or continue as guest. So if you want to uh, properly manage your booking, like have a history in it, it is recommended that you have an account. But in this case, you could continue as a guest. So for now, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit here and go to the section that says fly here. So you have two options here. So you could basically uh, do a round trip flight here or even a one-way flight. So in this case, a round trip, a fly here would actually uh, book you a return ticket going back to your uh, of previous or your where you actually came from. Also, have one way, which in this case you'll only be booking one ticket, which in this case uh, you'll be booking to that specific location, so you won't be booking another one. So you have multi seat here if you want to have a stop over on a specific um a specific uh, location before going to your specific flight again. But yeah, so for example, we're going to do the around trip option here. In this case, we want to select our origin here. So for example, I want to select Manila. So in this case, let's just choose Philippines. And the destination is maybe, I want to say this going, I want to go to Cebu, Philippines. In this case, all we need to do is we now need to specify our depart. So for example, maybe I want to go to, uh, maybe I want to go to uh, the end of the month here, which is around May 30. And uh, the uh, return flight, return. So I want to return, so let me choose this one. And for the uh, section for my return, so maybe I want to still I'll go back on the 24 here. Let's go and click on select dates. Now, in this case, no now going to ask you how many adults, how many children, or how many infants are there going to be on your booking here. So in this case, since I'm just booking for myself, so adult is going to be around 12 years old and above. So for example, if you already have a child that is 12 years old, they are considered as adults. So you won't be able to consider them, consider, consider them as children at this case. Also have infants here if you have those. But in this case, I, I'm, I'm just one adult here. I'm going to choose that. And also if you have a promo code, you could go ahead and enter them in this section here. Now in this case, let's go and click on search flights. That's where you see flights that is available. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to basically read what you're currently seeing right now. So first, we are actually going to look for tickets from Manila to Cebu. So in this case, these are the dates, as you can see in the section here. You can even scroll to different dates here if you uh, want to uh, browse to different dates. Now, depending on the date that you'll be uh, going or where, or where you're uh, actually flying, you'll be able to access a specific type of price for that. Some, In some cases, it's going to be a lot cheaper on specific dates, but uh, most of the time, it's going to be uh, this specific price here. It's going to be quite the same. But sometimes, again, sometimes it's going to be uh, some uh, discounts that you could get. Now, in this case, we, since we want to go or fly on around uh, June 5th here, so if you want to move this to a different uh, date like June 29th, what we selected before, but again, depending on the fly, flights, uh, you should be able to uh, basically get. So the earlier you book, you book your flight, the uh, cheaper it is. So the later, like the closer date your flight is, uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot more expensive. In this case, uh, let's just choose uh, 29th here, although it's around 5,000. So if you want to move this like in 38th May, you could do that. It will be able to save around 2,000 Philippine peso. In this case, we now need to choose our flight. So in this case, uh, we want to choose the cheapest one here. So for example, we have this one, which is around 1, one hour and 30 minutes. And it's going to depart from Manila and arrive at Cebu. So the flight's going to be around 3.45 a.m. to 5.15 a.m. So in this case, the fare is going to be around 6,681. So let's go ahead and expand this one. So in this case, there's going to be uh, some uh, things that we could do here. So go back in here. So I think uh, we've uh, changed a few things here. Let's just go back. 
Yeah. So in this case, we are now in the Cebu and Manila section here. So in this case, if you want to select that, you could go ahead and select that here. So for now, if you want to change a few things, like for example, you've selected this incorrectly, just click on change here. Again, you should be able to change a few things regarding your flight. So you should be able to also see a section here that says two seats left for this price. So again, you could go and choose that. So again, I'm going to, going to choose this one. And if you want to change the Cebu or um, Manila flight here, you could go again, choose the change option. And yeah. And from here, if you want to get information on your baggage fees, you can just click on here. Because in this case, you're just actually uh, booking uh, for your flight here. So in this case, it's going to be your hand carry baggage. So sir, there's cer certain uh, type or certain specification for hand carries like 36 centimeters by 56 centimeters and 23 centimeters here. So in this case, this is for, uh, for hand carries or have the check baggage here. And you are only around 20 kilogram to or 32 kilogram depending on your flight. And uh, yeah, so in this case, there are going to be uh, dangerous goods that is not allowed as well. So for now, let's just go back to our previous page where we want to book our flight. So yeah, this page is where you will be able to see the general information about your flight. And from here, we have the uh, bundles for your flight itself. So in this case, you go basic here, which includes one piece of hand carry and a random seat. So you won't be able to choose your seating here. So in this case, you won't need to add any uh, prizes uh, on it. So this is going to be the basic one here. So if you want to choose your uh, seat, you could choose the go easy, but there's going to be additional 1,000 uh, peso in it or, or so, depending on the season. So you have the option to add a one hand carry, one check in baggage, and you could also choose the preferred seat. Now it is recommended that you view their fair rules here, because in this case, there are going to start some uh, prerequisites for you to start using, or basically use this plan here. Like for example, uh, cancellations, uh, the, uh, if you want to translate this, by the way, you go click on the uh, translation or language here, because by default, it's going to be Filipino. So you could choose English here. So you have our no-show uh, fair, the rebooking, the name correction, because it is required that you get the name correct on your flight or you won't be able to uh, basically uh, book or basically uh, check in your baggage or even uh, ride the plane itself. Now, also the baggage allowance itself is allowed. So currently for this one, it's going to be only, only, only allowing like 20 kilograms of check-in baggage and sitting here. Now, in this case, you have the Air Passenger Bill of Rights here. Again, depending on the uh, airline, there are going to be some certain rules you need to adhere to, so make sure to read those. Also, have the Go Flexi here, which in this case, you'll be able to, uh, to uh, use the following um, options here. Like, for example, we'll convert your booking into a non-expiring travel fund for future use. So just in case your flight does not or you won't be able to go through your flight, for that specific uh, flight, you can basically convert this into a non-expiring travel fund. So just in case you want to return to that specific location, you could use that fund again for a future uh, flight. In this case, I want to choose maybe the Go Basic here. Let's go and choose the uh, Go Basic. But again, if you want to choose your seat, you could go and click on one of the cheaper bags and seat. So you go and choose that one and just click on continue. Now, in this case, all we need to do next is we now need to fill out all the information that they require. That includes personal information about yourself and your payment methods. In this case, what you need to do is you need to enter your personal details again, your date of birth, your name, and your contact information here. So for now, let's go ahead and provide all those details. Also in this page, make sure to indicate if you are a person with disability, like for example, if you're using a wheelchair, make sure to indicate that so that they'll be able to give you the proper assistance that they could give for the flight itself. So in this case, you also have the, I have a declaration or request here if you want to, like for example, if you have any requests for them. So in this case, you should be able to add a selector, like for example, if you want to have a wheelchair cabin here or traveling with a service dog, if you have them or traveling with a portable oxygen concentrator. So make sure to include those. Now in this case, uh, let's go ahead and click on continue here to proceed to the next page, which in this case, add-ons. Add-ons are going to be customizations that you could use or edit or add to your flight. So in this case, we have the bundle inclusion. So that includes the flight itself, any baggage and the seating. So you can choose that. So I have the add-ons here, which in case you've uh, basically uh, include uh, specific items like travel insure here or add your baggage if you want to. But in this case, it's also already included in our bundle. So in this case, you don't want to have to do that. But for now, let's go ahead and proceed to the next page and just click on continue. 
Now, by the way, at the top right, you should be able to see your current uh, price that you need to pay. Again, depending on your flight, the price itself would change. So choose accordingly and make sure to choose and uh, make sure to uh, uh, take in good consideration the fees that you'll be occurring here. Now, in this case, we have our uh, flight now here. So in this case, by clicking continue, confirm that you have read through the conditions of carriage. In this case, make sure to read those conditions of carriage here. For now, let's go ahead and agree to that. And from here, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, in this case, you'll be redirected to another page here. So let's just wait for it, which in this case is going to be the payment page. So wait for, let's go ahead and wait for it. In this case, this is going to be the payment page here, which in this case, you have the option to enter a booking reference number. If you want to check the balance, you should be able to do it in here in this page here, as well as the total booking or to, uh, total bill that you'll be incurring. Also, you have the credit or debit card section, or if you want to pay on a different means, like for example, uh, we have PayPal, GrabPay, Maya, and Gcash. So if you're not aware yet, uh, these are electronic uh electronic ways of actually playing of uh, paying for them so these are e-wallets so gcash is most of the time uh, mostly used in the philippines are widely used in philippines so if you have like gcash or a philippine mobile number and you're using already gcash you, well you could basically pay for that but if you just have a credit or debit card here that is enabled for international use you should be able to select this one and you just need to enter all the details required here like your card number or card details as well as the billing address now in this case, you should be able to add your contact number here as well, or your email. And from here, you also need to agree to fully understand all information handled in accordance in Cebu physical privacy policy in effect and time booking. So you also need to agree that, and once you've entered all the deals required here and your billing uh, a section or your billing uh, requirements here or details, you can go ahead and click on the submit button here and that would actually book your flight here on Cebu Pacific Air. And that's about it. So booking a flight here on Super Pacific is pretty easy. Just make sure to read uh, what you're seeing on your screen. And uh, most of the time, uh, what you see on Cebu Pacific is actually quite similar to different websites like for example in Philippine Airlines their UI or the look of their website and how you actually book it's quite similar so if you're already familiar with Philippine Airlines it's quite the same with Cebu Pacific or in any other airlines. Now in this case that's about it. So if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and to watch our next video.